So yes, TV drive brand metrics in this age of multi-modal consumption. And I think really the competition in terms of spends is between three mediums today. One is TV, of course, which is the highest. Second is print, which is the second highest. And third, digital, which is climbing up the charts far faster than what one would have imagined even five years back. So uh, why do I say this? But before I say this, I just want to spend a little bit of time. So I started my career in Hindustan Lever. I was there for a, almost a decade. Um, moved on to a completely new world of startups at Big Basket. And over there, I was part of two fundraisers that happened, the first one with Bessemer and the second one with Alibaba. And then moved on to Medlife, and now we're again in the middle of uh, the first fundraiser that Medlife will do. So one thing that's come to my notice and one thing that I have realized, which is so dear and so precious, is that the brand equity, the value that the brand commands, is the single largest portion of any valuation exercise. Right? And how important is that? 37%. The single largest item in any valuation sheet is actually to the brand. And that's why moving brand metrics is so important, and that's why it is the obsession of every brand marketeer to actually build this. But the startup world is what actually got this to my notice in a very stark way. Right? Um, what do we typically follow and chase after in terms of brand metrics as uh, brand managers, later, later on CMOs, and so on? First, of course, salience. All of us wants to have Tom scores that are like the highest and completely rocking through the roof. All of us want to uh, at least have the best in terms of spontaneous recall too. And these I have found over the years being very, very strongly correlated to sales and business metrics. Right? And of course, consideration. If you have high salience, your consideration will be high unless you are a shitty product right? and are there in the news for very wrong reasons. Um, and then finally, the other metric that every, every brand, every brand owner, and indeed I have coveted for throughout, has been differentiation. Who, who doesn't want to be differentiated and own a sweet spot in that customer mind, um, which you know they go into eternity with? Uh, so yeah, so the first part that I wanted to make clear and absolutely clear over here is when I say TV drives brand metrics, I am really talking about these metrics. I'm talking about equity that drives valuation. I'm talking about uh, the salience and consideration that drives sales and business revenue numbers, and finally differentiation that makes the brand a legend, right? Um, I'm going to quickly move to the boring slide, but bear with me while I very quickly cover it. So some data validation as to why I believe TV drives brand metrics. First one, media consumption, obviously the highest share, 59%, and then you have digital following, following with 30% and increasing. Second one is the number of advertisers. The top one is TV, and that's why the numbers aren't visible, but 12,000 brands advertise on TV. Compare that with a million plus on digital. Which do you think will get better recall? Right? Obviously, the one where there is less clutter. And more importantly, if you were to actually, and this is a hypothesis, this is not the truth, I don't have the numbers, but if you were to look at those 12,000 brands that are actually advertising on TV today, they would be most likely spending at least two thirds to possibly even 80% of their budgets on TV. It is the brands that cannot advertise on TV, given that the initial outlay over here is pretty high. You can't do with you know, a one lakh budget on TV, um, who will not feature over here. But for the brands that do advertise on TV, bulk of their budgets and spends go on to TV. And that tells you why they are making these choices. right? Trust in messaging, this is a Nielsen survey, um, not very recent, but uh, this was done sometime in 2016-17. But it says that TV in terms of trust is uh, fourth, coming after the first one, which is word of mouth. I trust much more in what somebody else, my neighbor, my family, my friend tells me, followed by print ad, which is at 71. Customer reviews online at 70, and TV is not too far off. It is actually at 68%. Um, compare that with the others, print ads. So print editorial is at 71, but print ads is actually at 63. Right? So it also shows from studies that TV is the one that will drive much, much more trust in whatever brand messaging that you're going to bring about. And lastly, reach. Um, in India, it reaches about 835 million people, which is by far the largest. And uh, a simple metric or a simple truth of marketing is, as a marketeer, I will put my money in that medium if I have the monies. That gives me the largest reach. So yeah, if I have to build my brand amongst the masses, TV is where I will go. But all this having been said and done, and this is also coming from my experience, uh, 
back in Big Basket when we wanted to actually explored the market and we had tried it for quite a while with just being digital only and print. Digital and print is what we were using for the longest time. But we, when we wanted that leap, when we wanted that step jump to happen, it is TV that we went to and it indeed delivered. Um, and I can say the same thing for Medlife over here. Uh, we were for the longest time, for three years in our existence, a digital only brand, uh, sometimes using print. And uh, in 2018, mid is when we started using TV. And it has indeed been one massive uh, jump in terms of overall business, in terms of metrics, and indeed in all the attention that we've gotten. So it has empirically also worked for us, and this is what I want to basically uh, put down over here. But there is one change. If I have to go back to my levers days, and um, now with the entire startup e-commerce uh, ecosystem, only TV will not work, right? So it will, but it will and should be the lead medium, because nothing else drives the, um, the overall those metrics that I talked about much better than any other medium that I have worked with so far. So it's all empirical. And uh, exceptions prove the rule. I know a lot of people will jump up and say, Ki, but oh, so what about Red Bull? Oh, what about some other brand, some Lulu, something, something that they talk about? Um, they prove the rule. You can't uh, you know, use exceptions and say, Ki, Bhai, no, but this doesn't really follow the rule. Uh, for me, this has always been the axiom that Exceptions prove the rule rather than set it the other way. I just have one more slide, and this is really because this is a forum of a lot of broadcasters. And this is also a forum where you have advertising uh, platforms over here. I want to leave this thought with you guys, um, which is, you know, and this is something that also happened in the panel discussion. Some things have to change, right? And why do they have to change? Again, coming back to being a brand and a brand custodian, we rely on customer and customer insights and try to really understand them. This is also you basically trying to understand us who are really handling, handling companies and brands and categories, right? We are getting very, very used to the kind of targeting options and metrics and measurements that digital gives, right? And therefore, if, um, uh, pardon me, there was a gentleman here uh, speaking about Bark and how Bark has the highest sample. But the point is, ye dil mange more, right? Uh, we have become used to and are slowly starting to want more and more of that. TV is not at all an option for regional brands barring South. And even in South, it has to be something that a brand is applicable for the whole state. Right? If I want to do something in only Trichy, if I want to do something in only Hubli, or if I want to do something in just Mughal Sarai, I can't do it with TV. One of the things that I hated about TV advertising while I was at Big Basket is Big Basket is only there in 25 towns, right, or 10, 25 cities in the country. But my advertising would reach to a vast number of people outside of these 25 cities, and I had no control over it, and I couldn't even do anything about it, right? So uh, it, it used to be uh, pretty upsetting that so much of money was going out and uh, to, a, to a whole set of wrong audiences. And we would love to see some very creative buying options being presented to us as marketeers. And uh, once you start doing that, because uh, you, you compare it with the other world, there are so much, there is so much more innovation, whereas I don't see that quite happening over here. Um, it, is, it is one thing about talking about ERs and CPRPs and um, the other ways of buying, but uh, let's, let's get a little creative on this medium too, because in general, that is a trend to which people are going. And it would be great to see TV also come and present us with various creative options as much as the other medias are doing. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, that's why I believe that TV builds brands and drives brand metrics in this age of, in, in this age of multi-model consumption. Thank you.